Okay. We'll make this quick. First name, uh, last name, spell it for me. Uh, Chief Steve Drew, S-T-E-V-E-D-R-E-W. All right, Chief. Uh, what what occurred here tonight? So it, uh, we got a phone call of shots fired inside a residence here in the 700 block of 16th Street, uh, about 724, 725. Officers responded, and they found three individuals that had suffered gunshot wounds. What we have at this point is one individual inside the residence. Is just, everything took place inside. Uh, we have one individual who is deceased inside the residence. Two other adult males were transported to the hospital. Uh, one of those uh, did succumb to his injury, so he is deceased at the hospital. And another one is what I would consider, uh, what we're being told, critical but stable. Uh, so I would say he's, uh, we still want to monitor, get some updates from the officers and the doctors that are up there. Uh, but it looks like he's going to pull through. Uh, uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, go yeah, ahead. so um, what, what's that, that, how, do we know how this incident arises? Was it domestic? Was the yeah, no, that, you're exactly right. Um, everything we're looking at so far is this is a domestic-related, isolated incident. Everything happened inside. There was some type of argument, altercation. We're trying to get to the root cause of that, what that was over. But the parties all knew each other. Uh, there is evidence that's been recovered inside the residence. Forensics, as soon as the search warrant's here, will we'll process, take photographs, and do the measurements. They've done some of that outside, but everything here is inside the residence. Just a, it's just a horrible situation for a family to go through. Um, I, I don't know at this point what the altercation or argument was about, uh, but we do know there was an exchange of gunfire. They're not looking for anyone else uh, related to this incident unless anyone has information. Uh, but we have been able to get some information from individuals that were inside the residence. So uh, what's going to happen here is we'll continue to process the crime scene. We'll wait for the search warrant to respond. We'll get a, a further uh, update and brief uh, about our, our individual at the hospital. I'll know more later that in the middle of the night, into the morning. And then uh, we'll get a full, uh, we'll put all the detectives together and get a, a round table of what we have here so far. So uh, heart goes out to the family right now. It's a good community. Uh, we don't have many problems here. Uh, it's just... It's just sad of what what happened after this altercation. I, I get it, and and just just kind of uh, just following up on that, I, you, there's, you know, when we have these shootings, people always worry about you know, oh, there's someone on the loose. Right. That isn't the case in this. Though. No, that's correct. Yeah, that's why I say we're not looking for anyone else. And usually, I'd rather wait and, and have a little bit more information before I talk to the media. But I think it's important to be as open and transparent as we can. I don't want the community to feel like there's anyone running around that that they might be in danger. This is a situation that's isolated. It is a domestic situation that happened inside the residence. Uh, we'll know a little bit more later on, but I can tell you um, that we're no, there's no one that we're looking for at this time. Okay. Is there anything I'm missing, anything you'd like to cover that I may have not asked you? No, I just I appreciate um, the community has been very receptive and, and uh, uh, cooperative. As we, I know we've blocked some streets here to, to get information in, equi and equipment in and equipment out, uh, but they've been very, very respectful. Uh, I got to go by and talk to a couple residents just to check on them. And, you know, they said that they had heard gunfire as well just to make sure that they're okay and sometimes it's just you know just asking people are you okay let them know that we care about them we're worried about them uh, but everything we're hearing is this is a and from my experience this is a good neighborhood uh, we don't have many situations here and it's just an unfortunate tragic incident over over anger that went too far I got it. Okay. thank you sir thank you. Appreciate, appreciate it, it. Thank you, sir. all right